on guys today I am going to take y'all through a grocery haul through a meal prep and then we're going to talk about nutrition macros intuitive eating stuff like that so I'm really excited for today's video I am with James and Liz so all of us today are going to be getting groceries meal prepping and then we're going to all give you kind of like our our views on intuitive eating macros meal plan stuff like that so here we go I've been hearing symphonies before all I heard was silence a rhapsody for you and me and every melody is timeless like for stringing me along then you came and you cut me loose And now your song is a repeat And I'm dancing on to your heartbeat And when you're gone, I feel incomplete So if you want the truth I just wanna be part of your symphony enjoyed that fun grocery haul I'm pretty sure I can say that's the funnest I've had in a grocery store before but while we meal prep and everything um, we're all meal prepping we're gonna kind of explain to y'all why we eat the way we do so um, kind of like the different ways like I'm really big on like there's not one way to eat there's not one way to get fit like do what works for you so I'm gonna have each of us explain kind of why we do what we do we're gonna start with Liz um, I'm gonna be starting macro counting, okay? I'm gonna be cutting for the summer. I personally really like uh, counting macros just because I do the whole intuitive eating and that kind of stuff, but for a specific goal, I know I can control exactly like what I want my body to look like and I can shape it better if I know the exact amount of you know, carbs, proteins, fats that I'm putting inside of it. So I'm actually really excited to start tomorrow and yeah. So that you're tracking macros like how do you go about like your day-to-day -day eating like do you like prep all your meals for the week or do you just kind of go day by day like how do you go about it so um, for me because I'm not too experienced with counting macros I've done it multiple I've done it a couple times before but for me I know I can stay on track more if I cook all my food on Sundays and plan them out for the week so I'll use like my fitness pal or like macro plus and I'll put all them in there and I'm okay with eating the same thing over and over um, that doesn't really bother me so I normally eat the same thing for lunch and I'll eat the same thing for dinner and breakfast so they're all like three different meals the same three meals like throughout the week so that's how I can stay on track with my macros. James, how do you eat and why? So the current way that I eat is I eat intuitively, so I just listen to my body. I know my body pretty well, so whenever I'm hungry, I'll go ahead and eat. When I'm not, I won't. Um, the reason I do that is just because it's a little bit more flexible with life. So if an event pops up, I can go ahead and go to that and not really feel restricted so, um, so I can eat whatever they have, things like that. But uh, I do keep it within reason. Now, I am gonna be transitioning into tracking macros just because I'm starting to cut, and I just wanna be on, I wanna have everything dialed in, and I want to uh, make sure I'm hitting numbers correctly and on a consistent basis. So, it, but if you're not prepping for anything, if you're not um, doing anything specific, I would highly recommend uh, trying out intuitive eating and just listening to your body and things like that, so. Okay guys, and then you know that um, because of like my eating disorder issues lately, um, I am not tracking macros anymore. I've tracked macros for three years and then now I'm trying to intuitive eat. Um, it's actually a really hard transition for me. Guys. <laughs> what did you say? She's talking. Oh. It's actually a really hard transition to make from tracking your macros to eating intuitively just because like I'm so used to depending on numbers for everything. And I think that tracking macros is awesome um, whenever you're trying to hit a specific goal and everything. Like it's an awesome way to see progress because you know exactly what you're getting in and you can manipulate your body however you want. 
Um, but right now, my goal is to just like focus on health and listening to my body and getting to a healthy state with my body. So I'm just doing intuitive eating. And so, um, as you can see, like we prep up our stuff kind of like in bulk. Like I'll do like chicken, rice, um, stuff like that just so I can have it on hand, it's already cooked and I can make meals really easily, but I don't typically prep like meals just because I stay at home most of the time. I can cook my meals right then and there. So that's kind of the way I eat and then that's the way that they eat and we're all working towards our goals. The main point is that you can reach your goals, your fitness goals, no matter what the goal is, whether it's cutting, bulking, maintaining, you can reach those goals by doing several different things, whatever works best for you. So now we're gonna go ahead and prep the rest of our stuff and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, so I wanna pause the video really quickly to just let you know about the clothes that I'm wearing. Um, Strong Physique sent me this new top and then these leggings. Um, it's new for their collection, they just dropped today. Um, and they're really, really comfy. I like the leggings, but they're not squat proof um, to be completely honest, but I will wear them for like arm days and stuff like that. Uh, they're really really comfy really stretchy and then this top has actually a built-in bra in it So it's really nice. Um, this is a size small. These are also a size small um, If you're gonna get it, I would say to normally wear like extra small and things So for the top I would definitely like size up uh, Just because it is like the built-in bra and if you have like back muscles like lats and stuff You obviously need to size up so you can use um, Elena 10 as a discount code if you guys want to um, Check out the clothes. I really like them but I just wanted to let you all know that.